Now, recently, the Spruce Kings received a bit of a scare when their bus went off the road in the Lower Mainland. The situation could have been much worse. Back in late 1986, that was the case for the Swift Current Broncos hockey team. Now, a book has been written about the accident that killed four of the players. It also leads to the team's triumph just three years later. In bus. It stands as one of the biggest tragedies in Canadian junior hockey. Four players on the 1986 Swift Current Broncos killed in a horrific bus crash. The team bus was traveling along the Trans-Canada Highway on their way to Regina for a game against the Pats. But they never made it to the rink. Trent Cressy, Scott Kruger, Chris Manteca and Brent Ruff all died when the bus hit a patch of black ice and flipped off the side of the road. And while the team could have quit right then and there, they rallied together as a team to continue the season. The players were given the choice. Uh, uh, Graham James called a team meeting. They all met and everyone was given a choice. Will we continue the season or will we stop? None of them went home. And I, I think the feeling I got was that they felt if they went home, they were going to be alone to deal with it. It's a story Greg Drennan and his two fellow authors wanted to tell. Drennan, now the sports editor at the Kamloops Daily News, was the assistant sports editor in Regina at the time of the accident. But through tragedy came triumph. Just two years after the crash, the Broncos came together in memory of their four fallen teammates. Swift Current went on to have a dream season, winning its first and only Memorial Cup in 1989, defeating the host Saskatoon Blades in dramatic fashion, 4-3 in overtime. There were five other players uh, who, who were on that bus and on the 1989 team, and they will to a man tell you the sense of relief they felt when they won the Memorial Cup because now they had something positive to relate to as opposed to always thinking of the bus accident. And they also will tell you the first thing they thought of was the four dead teammates. However, the triumph didn't last very long. After that historic win, some skeletons in the Broncos' closet were revealed. That is, Graham James. Behind the scenes, James sexually abused some players. In 1996, pleading guilty after Sheldon Kennedy came forward with his story. We didn't look for things like that. I was around Graham James often, uh, frequently drove from Regina to Swift Grant for hockey games, loved to cover the Broncos because Graham James was so good with the media. As we find out, pedophiles are, are manipulative, manipulative with adults. Uh, you know, they, 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 they play adults just like they play the kids because they're, they're living the double life and naturally they don't want the adults to know. But in Drennan's mind, the Graham James fiasco doesn't at all tarnish the 1989 championship and how a team rallied together for four fallen teammates.